especially in Mythic. Yeah, it, it doesn't. I, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. Get like a half good. percent the DPS. It's like so for me the thing is 0.8 percent DPS increased, which is not nothing, especially over the entire raid, but. It's not worth my life when we're going to be in Heroic for the first couple of weeks anyways. Uh, Luz, let me know if you're going to do any keys after that. I need to sneak in a key so I have something next week. Okay. I kept They're going to get downgraded 11 or something? Yeah. It's downgraded by 10. Yeah. I, uh, I've been on and whenever I'm on no one else is on and I didn't really want to pug if I could help it because everybody gets on when I'm going to bed because I have to get up for work How many people do you think will be in the raid? It's going to be a lot. <laughs> uh, I think it, it's going to be, be more than 30? If it's more than 30, then we have a problem, because I don't know how I keep them all entertained, but, like, long term. But it's probably, like, 25 plus. Um, I'm, I expect at least one of these guys to, like, ghost me, but there was a bunch of people that gave very serious, like, and they joined the Discord and everything, so... Something like a lot. Um, has anyone done this? Oh, here it is. Never mind. I was looking to figure out how to do this care package quest, and the small box you have to click on is very well fucking hidden mm -hmm. next to the owls. So I did a super bloom last night that was amazing because the power I got was I had little moonkin hatchlings following me around. You got two and you could have up to eight as you rescued them, which was hilarious because they eight little moonkins following a big moonkin is very funny. They also helped you fight, like they casted Starfall and little sun moon fires. Adorable. Yeah, they, they finally embraced it. That people just want to be in a big zerg. And just follow a thing around. Mm hmm We are lemmings. Dun, 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 dun. You have big plans for Thanksgiving or Black Friday? Honestly, I don't do shit. Unless, like, people are here. So, like, I don't have anything. Unless there's, like... I don't know. I don't even shop. I don't, I don't got shit I need. I'm I am. Um, I'm an impulsive buyer. I do all my, uh, like, gift shopping and stuff uh, on Cyber Monday. Mm -hmm. I have my cell phone plan comes up every two years on Black Friday. <laughs> That's the way to do it. So I've had like the last like couple months now, like our competitors or like company as I used to with, and they're like, so we uh, have this like limited time deal and we want to like see if you want to sign up for it. And I was like, I told them, like, you could offer me the sun and the moon, the stars or whatever. I'm not signing a deal in September and then having this shit come up in September two years from now. I'm having this shit come up on Black Friday every two years till I fucking die. <laughs> like, go away. Come back, like, whatever. I'm not going to take the first deal. I'm not a sucker. You think the deals are going to get worse on Black Friday, some random day in October? No. Yeah, I'm. They started doing the Black Friday up here when, like, the exchange rate was, like, pretty close. And they just kept it up since then. Damn 
to this key is like not good. Well, that's not great. What level is it? It's a 20. My AoE is good with this build, but it's bad single target. 100k is not good for a 20. Like, like we're all doing like... Like the other two doing 80 and 90, I did 100. I was like, no, it's not good enough. <laughs> Overall or single target? It's a, a single target. Overall, okay. it's me 140, and this Feral is also 140, which is whack. Are they just suddenly good now? Love that. Cats don't exist. Cats don't exist. You are actually formatting that? It's just it's just a second guardian. Mm hmm Oh I'm bad. I walked directly in front of the tank. I think I, I hunted some murder the tank. So who do you think is going to win uh, World First? I have no idea. It's always seemed to be a crapshoot. Was it just? Isn't it just the two that keep going back and forth? Yeah. Yo, I, I'm gonna. I'm putting my hat in the ring for BDGG. They got it this tier, guys. <laughs> One day. One day they will come. They will rise up. Gamers rise up. I know Method's trying to get back into the race and actually be a competitor. Is it, even it would the be same neat. Team? It's not the exact same team because most of Method is yeah, actually Echo. Echo. Yeah, yeah. But um, like the management of Method is the same from back then. And it's, uh, they're getting better. Like, they're a solid third place now. I would like them to, like, so it's not just a two-horse race. I think it would be that neat would be cool. if we could have, a like, a solid four guilds constantly and, like, legitimately having a shot. Like, two European and, like, BDG... G for a NA. It would be interesting, but I have my doubts. There's a reason why they're usually why it's just a two man race. I don't remember where I heard it, but it made a lot of sense to me. One of the reasons why there are no other competitors is because they don't have Echoes and Liquids uh, experience with, like, fighting the boss for the very first time and making their own strategies because even the other ones they they kind of ape the top two's strategies a lot of the time yeah that's why they didn't want to like share for the longest time yeah so what like what they have to do to be at their level is go like an expansion <laughs> and race like you're trying to win but you never copy strategies you just learn how to make the strategies on your own. That's why they're like they have the weak aura of dudes and everything. That's like part of what makes them so ahead. Because they can get all their their guys on the same page with a strat in an hour with a weak aura, which is why they're also making a bunch of private auras. I'm super worried about that. <laughs> I'm worried about it if Blizzard does that and then doesn't, you know make them doable without fucking add-ons. Like trying to do an Eltharian without the map thing? Yeah, what it was the change, by the way? I didn't even, like, see what it was. The map thing? No, well, they made it so now the map, the mini-map's not supposed to have your character arrow on it anymore, so you can't see where you are mm -hmm. relative. But what was the adjustment in compensation, then? I don't know, because... I think they made it longer... Like, how much time you have before it explodes? I guess it's okay. Well, if we did the fight how they probably really intended it, where you broke multiple walls to have plenty of room, it wouldn't be an issue. Oh, is that actually what they want yeah. you to do? Fuck that. that Ew, no. 
But everyone saw Liquid and Echo do what they did. They got the add-on. They're like, we'll just do this. Mm. I mean, I get it. This poor cat has died to Avalanche every time. Tanner? It's him. Is he is he in your key in spirit? All 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 frontals are cat frontals. They're for the cat to eat. Oh my god. I saw Mitered say something in Guild Chat earlier. Is is he real? Is he back? Was it this guild? Yeah. Are you sure about that? If you open the thing up and it you look at old guild comments, it says mitered. Yo. Oh mitered. I, don't know. I thought you said Tanner. I don't know why. You, I thought you were talking no, about I said mitered. Okay, okay. Sand. Sandy. -ish. I wonder what he's up to. Oh, this is his, like busy season because it's cold as fuck in Texas right now. So you can actually like do construction. We just do construction year round and suffer. Well, he's he's in Texas. No, I know, but we also do construction year round and suffer. I'm a based. Just die. The um, the amount of people like get that get roofs in summer and make those fucking contractors get up there in 110 heat. I feel real bad for those contractors, and I hope they get paid incredibly well. How'd you guys first? first uh, how'd you find BlizzCon? Was that the first BlizzCon you guys had gone to? Yeah, it was my first BlizzCon. I don't. Uh, it was mine too. It was too. interesting, but I, I don't know. It was a lot. <laughs> Was it like the with the lineups everywhere like crazy line? Go to the washroom rate crazy lineup. Go to the try to get food crazy lineup. Is that kind of like the bathroom? I only had to use once while actively there, and it wasn't like it wasn't bad for what it was, but also guys. So yeah, it's like what about the women's uh, food? The first day was really bad, but we just picked a really bad time to go get food. No, it was always bad. Don't want to fool you. Literally, the the food trucks outside were always a fiesta. And they're a rip off. You know, for like LA and like convention prices, like you knew what you were getting. They're kind of like stadium prices. Absolutely. Yeah. So like, like you paid you paid eight dollars for a boba or whatever. Twenty bucks for like a slice of pizza and a drink. I I bought uh, fries, a drink. And a burger for thirty bucks. <laughs> the, uh, the 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 actual convention and all the lines and shit were just. And if you watch the video, he actually like breaks it down, and that's like probably the biggest reason why it was such a fucking clusterfuck. Is they didn't have the mini events. They didn't have the side panels this year. They couldn't disperse any crowds. It was just everyone just wanted to go to the one stage or whatever. Exactly. You would you were able to sit in your line without like having a reason to be somewhere else at the convention so the lines were just massive all the time yeah they um they need to fix that for next year i mean it just it showed how small the stadium uh, anaheim convention center was because it otherwise would work and they have that many attendees usually but i don't know they just they weren't thinking it through it wasn't but that like bad, though I don't. I didn't hate it. In fact, it was really cool seeing every part of every hall full as fuck. That was actually like kind of cool. Yeah, it was. Um, it was cool. So you'd go again? Uh, yeah, I'm actively planning to go next year. Already? Uh huh. It's not cheap. I gotta save. Oh, okay. I, I did casually just kind of drop almost two thousand dollars on this trip in total. Do you have like anything to show for it, or is it just like the experience? I got a backpack. <laughs> yeah, two grand backpack. And the memories. 
Yeah, the memories are what you really treasure. There's literally just an excuse to meet people. Honestly, I don't care about the merch. If I, if I bought merch, it could have been easily another $200 more. Did any of you other guys buy any merch? I bought stuffed animals and a shit ton of pins. Yeah. I dropped fucking four hundred dollars on pins, but not all of those pins were for me. I got I think a hundred bucks back, so three hundred personal. You can't like choose the merch you want, like plushies. It's all random. Yeah. Oh, it's all blind bags. A little bit, like you you just sort of buy contracts or whatever it is, like yeah, ownership, whatever, and then you. I was like, oh, you got this, and it's a Pepe or whatever. What do you go to like? Do they have like a? It's like Costco where you buy like a little card and then you bring it up to a thing and then they, so you redeem it and then you mm -hmm. just get what you get. It's one hundred percent of those. Yep. You 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 have six boxes on a no nine boxes on a wall. You open it up and you grab a stuffed animal. Whatever you get is what you get. Yep. <laughs> the novelty of the experience is very cute. Uh, but. Yeah, it's a cool idea. It's neat. Uh, the fa except for the fact that you get into a line to buy the stuffed animal, and then you have to get into another line to redeem it. Yeah, the um, the the mechanics of the con were very bad. Like, I would not participate in that, even if I was really, really looking for I don't know Diablo plushie, whatever the fuck. I'm gonna leave because I don't trust this bear. Thank you, bear. You're bailing on your key? No, this bear, it's its the Neltharium, whatever, the, the wormy boss. You melee just get one shot if the tank isn't back in time. Oh yeah, he left the boss, he uh, he did not trust the bear. Yeah, I, I walked out of melee range for one global, just... I don't trust the bear to charge back in. Mm. I remember a few years ago, when the Raptors won like the NBA championship, a friend of mine went like downtown like the parade thing and he said it was like bonkers he's like basically like people would get like some people got like trampled and like you're he, he went near like the stage where they were doing like the speeches or whatever at the end like basically like the end part of the parade like after the bus is done that's like their final destination and they have like a big stage where they hype up the crowds so he was there and it's like you basically like couldn't move because there's just like people like sandwiched in there so it's like if you got to go to the bathroom if you're hungry it's like you're fucked um, and you're stuck there for like six hours or something like that in a standing position kind of thing. It's like, that sounds awful. Well, like it, it wasn't that bad. Though, I did feel like somewhat bad because I'm fairly tall and fairly big. So when I'm moving, I don't stop super quick. And there were definitely people that did not give a shit and just cut in front of me. And I'm like, dude, you are not going to come out of this crash well <laughs> if you do not get out of the way. <laughs> Hello, my loves. Hello. Hello, Sko. Talking how big the crowd was at BlizzCon. <laughs> was huge. Have you guys been to other ones? Does it seem like bigger or the same? Conventions or just like one. BlizzCon in general? Like BlizzCon specifically or? Like, yeah, do you mean BlizzCon specifically or yeah. other? No, that, the, the BlizzCon in general. I, it was our first, like, Sko, that was your first BlizzCon, right? And that was that was my first. Yeah. I think, I think we we were all first timers. I've done other conventions, and they're larger, but also in a larger space. And there's also other things to do for every other time, so I, it's hard to say. I uh, I've done a couple of conventions, but they're pretty like small, like uh, Anime Fest in Dallas is nowhere near that size. And um, the only other one I, I do regularly is Oddities and Curiosities, and that is nowhere near. Ooh, that's coming up, isn't it? Yeah, I told you about it on vacation. They uh, they uh, they announced it. I gave you the dates. I remember, but I don't remember because I've been high. <laughs> <laughs> on your t-shirt supply. <laughs> all all my t-shirts have tasted absolutely wonderful so far. Let me let me look it up. I still got the text somewhere in here. Hello? Oh, hi. What's up? March 30th and March 31st. Por okay, I'm going. Okay, what's, what's up? Maybe I'll pick up some new skulls. 
I need to get more artwork. Okay. How do I just log yeah, in I'm and about already to finish, don't have and then any flight? I can flight. go with you, and then she can okay. take me back. Okay. Yeah. Did you log out in okay. the air or something? Oh. She can go out. Yeah. Also, it was really weird to watch that video and see myself in it, even if it's just for a flat second. Was that literally <laughs> that was you? Yeah, that was me. That's so funny. Wow. At the very beginning, where he's talking about the Dark Moon Fair, I, I I'm walking up to a picnic table. <laughs> to trade pins. You didn't have anything they wanted. You're too fresh. Build up your collection a little bit. Uh, no, like, most of them... One guy I'm pretty sure I got fucking ripped off because I had to trade three for one Jaina pin. Jesus. But whatever. I wanted the Jaina one. But the other guy that I did most of the trading with was very much... He's there to help people fill out their collections and he's not gonna, like, fuck you over. Like, the, the black pins, he traded like one onyx for a one onyx That's and nice. like the one only onyx. uh yeah i think yeah yeah wow. nice. um the only one that i thought was crazy but also it was like the first set of pins they ever made was he wanted he had a a, a series one from the very first set uh, lich king mm -hmm. pin that he wanted three onyx of the current set which was a lot but also kind of made sense I did not get that one. <laughs> Don't stand in brown. What was your favorite part of the BlizzCon? Meeting everybody? Pretty much. Food. Food was also kind of nice. Yo, good yeah. Mexican. How good is Mexican in Texas? I have to imagine it's excellent. Otherwise, I, it also... I, it, I personally like Mexican in Texas, but that's honestly... It... Like... It's good if you go to decent places. Um, the Tex-Mex is really good. Cause like we but you also... Nothing but, I love me some Mexican. Mexican. So, like, yeah, it's like, it's like... You gotta like Mexican. Yeah, like... But they also have, like, Taco okay. Bell. Like, definitely not Tex-Mex. Also, we got it kind is... of the best Taco Bell I've ever had from a Taco Bell. That was... That Taco Bell we got? I've either not had Taco Bell in years... And my expectations were just in the fucking floor, or that was just good Taco Bell. Maybe you just have shit Taco Bell in North California? It's just bad everywhere. It's always been bad. Because it, it seemed similar to what we get here. At least what I get. Um, I don't know. The fucking night where Sko just garbled a pronunciation of a name and that's where we got Mexican. That was probably some of the best Mexican I ever had. <laughs> that or the Taco Bell? Uh, no, we also had... We had more Mexican, didn't we? We had a bunch. We had... And I also considered that breakfast that we got. That yeah, that was... That was absolutely Mexican, like... That was definitely Mexican. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That wasn't Mexican. Harry's wasn't Mexican. Okay, okay. I'm gonna be racist. It was made by Mexicans for Mexicans. It's Mexican what? Food. Literally How? everything in over there was he, made by Mexicans. He, even okay. They Mexican. Also, in Luce's defense, he literally ate a burrito. And it was okay. a good fucking burrito. Well, like a, yeah. So it was a breakfast burrito? Yeah, I got a breakfast burrito. It was actually fucking like kind of... Like, I had, I had just a fucking breakfast that was like... The home fries were, I would say, Mexican, Mexican-ish because it had a lot of uh, peppers and shit. But because home fries here on on a normal breakfast is don't don't, don't usually have that flavor. <laughs> well, no, like not so peppers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, maintenance is gonna be forever, isn't it? Oh, it's uh -huh. awesome. forever and a day. I hope they fix that stupid mount quest because I'm, I'm tired of it. Which one? The it's like a 15 day mount farm thing. Uh, let me see the smoldering sprout. It's uh the first quest is five days to grow. Second quest is another five days. Third quest is wait three days for it to become a certain item and then do another five-day quest. And then do another five-day quest. So after